Hello dear student. Today I shall start the lesson Aladdin and the Magic Lamp. It was the first part of the second lesson. In this story, a boy named Aladdin who was very poor and lived with his mother. Aladdin was a fatherless boy. One day a man came to Aladdin and said that I am your uncle with a very kind voice. I have come here to help you. He bought many fine and new dresses for them. He gave his mother a handful of gold and asked her to cook food for all of them. Both Aladdin and his mother were very pleased and happy. But it was not true. Actually, he was a magician. After some day, the magician took Aladdin to a wood. You know what is the meaning of the wood? It's a forest. In the middle of the wood, the magician threw some magic powder on it and said some magic word. Suddenly, the cloud smoke. The ground began to shake and the ground opened. Aladdin was very frightened and want to run away. But the magician ordered him to go down and bring lamp for me and gave him a ring. Aladdin took the ring and climbed down into the hall. At the bottom, Aladdin found himself in a beautiful garden. He went nearer. They were not fruit trees. Actually, they were trees covered with shining jewels. The lamp on the garden wall. He took it down and put it inside his shirt. I have found the lamp, he told to uncle. Give me the lamp first, magician said. I shall give you the lamp after you pull me out of this hall, Aladdin answered. The magician was angry. He pushed the stone over the hall and walked away. Aladdin was very frightened. He shouted for help. Nobody answered. He thought, poor mother, what will she be thinking? How can she live without me? In his sorrow, Aladdin began to twist his hand. He rubbed the ring which the magician had given him. And a dreadful figure appeared before Aladdin. Who are you? Aladdin asked. I am genie of the ring. What do you want? Genie asked. I want to go home, Aladdin said, almost crying. The very next moment, he was standing outside his mother's house. So this is the part one of Aladdin and his magic lamp.